Welcome back everybody. I'm Tassie with Tassie Eats and today I'm going to be doing the Japanese ghost pepper curry chicken. And it's like, it's not a challenge because I'm going to be drinking like milk and I have cheese because, you know, sliced cheese, it coats your mouth and it really gets rid of the spice in case I'm going to die and start crying. Um, so this is a really spicy curry. I've seen it on the internet. I don't know much about it other than it's Japanese curry and it's ghost pepper and it's chicken. So, you know, I'm kind of iffy about it. Uh, basically, it comes in this like bag, like it's a pink, hot pink box first. That's it. And then you open it and then this comes out of it. And it's currently in a bowl because to prepare it, you basically just put it in a pot of boiling water. Kind of just sink it in there. You boil it for like five minutes. You take it out and then I'm supposed to pour it over it. But, um... I was feeling the bag, so when it comes out, I was feeling it, and I only felt like four pieces of chicken. So, let's see how that goes. Oh, and I also have kimbap, bulgogi kimbap here, and I made that, and basically, you, like a lot of people, they eat dumplings with super spicy stuff. I'm not a huge fan of dumplings. <laughs> so, uh, I just did some kimbap there on the side, and I'm gonna pour out my rice. And I waited for my rice to get cold because normally I like warm rice, uh, but I decided to go with cold rice because if it's going to be as spicy as I think it is, uh, I don't want my rice to get hot because then it'll just be more painful. Okay, so that's a good hefty amount so far. <sighs> okay. And again, I have milk and cheese on the side. All right. that's a lot and it's hot <laughs> oh lord that's a lot that's a lot more than I was expecting oh that's hot I mean I literally just pulled it out of the boiling pot and I set it on the plate for a little bit yeah I can smell the curry okay let's make sure I got every last drop okay Go ahead and I'm gonna have a piece of kimbap just in case. Preparing myself. It smells really good. do this yeah it smells really really good holy cow there's chicken skin in here that's a good thing right it's real chicken okay should I take such a big bite <laughs> first I think I should be okay taste like anything right now okay and I do have to put a note here about the curry this is not Indian curry thank god so this is um it's not Indian curry this is like a it's not the closest I would say it would be like um sorry <laughs> the closest I would say it is more of a of a Asian curry than an Indian curry and yes I know Indians are also considered Asian but I mean like a Southeast Asian type of curry this is not like a curry like a Thailand kind of curry though this is like the Japanese curry so if you go to a Japanese restaurant and you order a curry dish this is what it would taste like so it's not exactly like an Indian curry and if you guys know of the um the fire ramen curry that one is more like an Indian curry to me. Mm. 
Okay. I mean, so far it's not bad. Um, the spice, it's like a tingle right now, but I think if, as I keep eating it, it'll probably get spice here. The meat is really tender. Almost like a pressure cooker kind of tender. Or that it's been boiled for a very long time. <clears throat> I'm not gonna lie, I was expecting something with a, a higher amount of heat. And right here, it looks like a Thai pepper. So it doesn't really look like a ghost pepper. I'm starting to feel my head sweat, <laughs> break out into a sweat. There's a lot of chicken skin in here. I don't know how I feel about that. I like chicken skin, but not boiled like this. And I am eating the pepper. Salt level is pretty medium to no more salt, okay? <laughs> Any more salt would be too salty. I'm starting to feel it, but because of how saucy it is and salty, I'm gonna add some more rice in here. Yeah, this is definitely a slow spice that picks up. So when you first eat it, it's not that bad. I just ate a huge piece of chicken skin. I don't know if that's skin or pepper. <clears throat> so this is interesting. I feel like I'm sweating everywhere, like my body is telling me it's like a poison, but my mouth does not feel like it's on fire. Like I did the beef jerky one, <clears throat> and the beef jerky, I did a Carolina Reaper and um, a scorpion pepper jerky, it was, I felt like that was more spicier in my mouth than this. That is very spicy. Don't be fooled. For people who really love spicy foods, I'm not talking about like a jalapeno, all right? I mean, you can eat like stuff with habanero and over. And I have that face because I've had habanero stuff before and it wasn't spicy. But um, you would like this if it's really spicy. If you're really, really into spicy food, you would definitely like this. It's really good. It tastes really good. The chicken is really soft. So I would say it's edible and, um, and I'm saying that because sometimes when you eat really spicy stuff it's more like they're just trying to make it really spicy but it doesn't taste good. This taste is good. No, oh, I got my hand. Okay, I think there's a pepper. That was um, a piece of meat. <laughs> it's kind of weird. I wasn't expecting a piece of meat like that. It's like a thin sliver. I 
And it's funny because when I was feeling it, I was like, there's not a lot of meat in here. Now that you're eating it, I can definitely feel like there is a lot of meat in there. I'm trying to do a test and the water, it, it helps. You know, I, maybe towards the end I might need milk. I feel like the water alone is enough. And the gimbap too. <clears throat> this is a really odd spicy to me. I feel like I'm sweating more than I normally do with peppers. <sighs> but I don't feel like <clears throat> my mouth is as hot as it has been with other peppers. So I think it's kind of weird. Yeah, I guess I, I don't know how to take this yet. Whenever you eat anything with rice, it's super filling. <clears throat> Sorry about that. <laughs> the heat does build up. I can feel it building up in my in my mouth now. It's more like in the back of my throat. And this took a really long time to get here. It took like a month. I'm gonna put the link down below in the description. So if you wanna try this, I highly recommend it for those who can handle heat. Um, it tastes really good again. It's a good kind of curry. It definitely builds. Yeah, it's like working in reverse. Sweating everywhere. The heat was like here in my throat. Now it's moving up here. Now it's coming toward the mouth. What is this? <laughs> oh my god, I apologize if I'm like super sweaty, you guys. It's like moving toward my mouth now. It was good. Woo. Okay, that milk and water is filling me, so I'm gonna eat a cheese, a slice of cheese. A cheese, sliced American cheese. It may be gross to people, but it works. If you eat something that's super spicy for you, this sucker will coat your mouth and like just protect you. <laughs> oh, 
Again, I think it's um, it's a really good curry flavor. It's not as Indian curry as I thought it'd be. <clears throat> There's actually a lot of meat in there. They're tinier pieces. I don't know if they pressure cooked this, or they crock potted it, or they just boiled it for a very long time. But the meat is very tender. There is chicken skin in here. Look out for that. And then there's no bones though. Um, you know, I think it was good. Uh, I'm really full now, <laughs> so I'm just gonna eat my cheese. And already, my mouth is feeling so much better. I'm feeling like I'm sweating everywhere, so I'm probably gonna go shower. <laughs> but I think, thank you guys for checking this out.